Okay, welcome to part one. Now we just saw that uh, first video where we looked at the tablet getting dropped into the water and we could start to think about how could that happen faster? What could be controlling the rate that that tablet dissolved? So let's think about all those things that could have affected that particular experiment. So what are all the variables that could have either sped or slowed up the dissolving of that tablet? So we could have the uh, size of the tablet, We could have the type of tablet. We could have the type of solution. The volume. What else could we have? We could have the size of the container. Or the shape. And we could have the temperature. the solution. So all of these things are variables that could affect our experiment. Now we're going to choose one of those to explore and in this case we're going to pick the temperature of the solution. Now because that's the one that we're deliberately trying to investigate we call that our independent variable. And now because we know that all these other things might affect our experiment, we're not sure, we're going to keep them the same. So any change to the speed that the tablet dissolves is only due to our independent variable. So therefore, all of these become control variables. But we still need one more variable, and that's the variable that we need to include to make sure that we can actually see if the independent variable is having an effect. And we call that our dependent variable. because it depends on our independent variable. So these two are connected and we call, we're going to measure, what are we going to measure? We're going to measure the time to dissolve. And that's going to be our dependent variable. Okay, so now that we've got our variables sorted out, we can come up with an aim and a hypothesis. So our aim is going to be what we want to investigate, the connection between our two variables. So in this case, we had our independent variable of the, um, the temperature of the solution, and we had a dependent variable of how long it takes for that particular tablet to dissolve. So we just put those two together. So in this case, we aim to investigate the, whoops, excuse my writing, the effect of temperature on the time taken to dissolve. Okay, so we have our independent variable and we have our dependent variable and we're just aiming to see if there's a connection between those. Now our hypothesis is slightly different, we're looking for a generalization or a testable prediction that links those two variables together. If I change my independent variable how will my dependent variable change? So we write, if the temperature is increased, then the time taken to dissolve will decrease. Again, it's the connection between our independent and dependent variable. There's our independent variable, temperature, and there's our dependent variable, um, both there, and then we have just whether it will, how are they going to be linked together, okay? So that's how we do aims and hypothesis. We first have to get all the variables together then choose one to test, choose one to measure, and then we can make our aim and hypothesis. So hopefully that helped. Um, that's part one, variables, aim and hypothesis. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe.